Hi guys, my name is Raz with AutoDS and in today's video we'll be explaining the settings page for your AutoDS account. To get started, please go to the left side menu bar, scroll to the bottom and click on the settings tab. Once you're on this page here, you'll be able to see all of the main settings for your AutoDS account. On the left side of the page, we have the general settings for the account itself and on the right side of the page, you'll be able to see the settings for the current store you're looking at. Of course, you can manage as many eBay stores as necessary on a single AutoDS account and to switch between stores, you can use this drop down menu on the top of the page right here. Let's go over settings for this account. Under general settings, you can see the email address that you used when registering to AutoDS. If you click on change payment method, you can change your payment method for your AutoDS subscription using either PayPal or your credit card. Under change subscription plan, you can either view your current plan change an update to a new subscription plan and purchase auto order credits or auto finder credits as well. Under add eBay account you can connect an additional eBay store to your AutoDS account. As we said you can manage as many eBay stores as necessary if you have more than the default number please contact us directly at the customer support chat on the bottom right side of the screen. If you click on add VA account, you can see existing VA accounts, add and remove VA accounts and of course change restrictions and authorizations for your VAs. The Vero keywords blacklist will enable you to add your own keywords into the system and tell AutoDS what to do when encountering such a keyword. You can have the word removed from title and description, removed from the brand or manufacturer name and you can have the listing blocked for upload altogether. Here you can change the password for your AutoDS account. And lastly we have the multiple account protection feature. If you check this box, AutoDS will not allow the same item to be uploaded to more than one of your stores. If you're working with non-connected stores and you do want to upload the same items to multiple stores, do not check this box right here. Next, let's look at the right side of the screen. Here you can see the PayPal email address for this eBay store. This is used when uploading new products and must match your eBay payment policy. Beneath it you can see the current token that AutoDS uses to synchronize your store with eBay. The fee setting said right here is responsible for the profit display on your orders page. To understand the difference between profit display on the orders page and profit calculation on the active listings page, please read the detailed article on our help center on AutoDS.com. Here we have our default item location. This will be used when uploading new products. Please note that changing the default item location here on your settings page will not change item location for the items on your active listings page. It will simply become the new default setting for AutoDS when uploading new products to your store. Here you can see the upload watermark feature. You can of course see your existing watermark, remove it or upload a new watermark. Let's scroll further down and see what else we can do. Under blocked products, you can enter any item ID that you'd like AutoDS to block from uploading to all of your connected stores. The default item specifics feature will allow you to add your own default item specifics. Whenever uploading new items, AutoDS will automatically take your default item specifics and add them to your listing. This is of course whenever the supplier site does not already have more than the allowed maximum 25 item specifics by eBay. Under manage tags, you can view, edit, remove and add new tags to the tag system which can help you manage and keep track of your items and uploads. 
more effectively and easily. This is of course especially useful when you have large stores or multiple VAs working on the account. And lastly at the bottom of the page we have the refresh eBay token button. As we said the token for eBay is necessary for AutoDS to have proper sync and perform actions on your eBay account. If this token expires we'll need to refresh the eBay token and re-grant authorization for AutoDS on your eBay account. If you see your actions on AutoDS do not reflect on your eBay listings and you feel refresh eBay token might be necessary, please contact us directly at the customer support chat on the bottom right side of the screen. Also please note that when doing refresh eBay token, monitor settings might be reset and will likely need to be reconfigured. Lastly, whenever you've made any change to your settings page, you'll need to click on the save settings button right here at the bottom of the screen. I hope you have enjoyed this quick overview of the settings page for your AutoDS account. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.